Welcome back to Chambers TV. I'm your host once again, Dwayne Brown, Mount Vernon Chamber of Commerce. Today, I'm on the rooftop of one of the most extraordinary business that we have in the city of Mount Vernon. Trusco Garden, Landscaping, and Building Supplies. If you need anything for your home, business, garden, this is the place in the heart of Mount Vernon to buy all your supplies. And today, I have the great pleasure of introducing and talking to one of my great friends in the city of Mount Vernon, longtime business person, owner of Trusco Supplies, Mr. Frank Trusco. How are you, my friend? How are you doing? Right. So, Frank, tell us about Trusco. Well, basically, what we do here is we try to provide you with all your landscape and masonry needs. So, if you're doing uh, lawns, if you're doing plantings, flowers, mulching, um, and then we get into masonry as well. Your flagging, your cleaning walls, uh, minor repairs around the house. So local contractors, local homeowners, local developers didn't have a place where they can get the materials until exactly. you open this so section. Exactly, so I felt there was a need. And we started it from scratch. And slowly, and this is our 10th year, believe it or 10th not. 10th year, so happy anniversary. Thank you, we survived. Hopefully you can make another 20, 30 more. I hope you're right. You know and, I mean? um, we just started about three years ago. Uh, we branched off into the uh, plant material end because I have a lot of mason contractors cross over. Okay. And they're doing not only masonry, they're doing landscaping, they're doing maintenance. So they would always ask me, hey, why don't you get this? Why don't you get that? So it's about three years now that we've gotten involved with plant material and, you know, so far so good. So we're on the rooftop and later on we're going to take you around. There's like four or five bays here. Like, Frank really runs the whole block. We call this the Trusco <laughs> section of Mount Vernon. It's really a whole area. So we're gonna go from bay to bay, but until we, uh, tell us a little bit about why you like doing business in Mount Vernon. What advantages do you have and? You well, know? I'm born and raised. Born and raised. Mount Vernon's my home. So rather than go anywhere else, when I graduated from college, I said, I wanna go to where I know. So I came back to my home and we invested here. And it was sort of like the field of dreams. If you build it, they'll come. They'll come. It took a little while, but they're starting to come. How um, how would you say it is is the uh, being in Mount Vernon gets your trucks in and out easy with all the different highways? Is that's advantage to help you know you along? Yeah, well we're close to the Yonkers border. Yeah. So we're pulling guys in from Yonkers. We're pulling some in from New Rochelle. Uh, our Mount Vernon businesses we're pulling in now. Yeah. So rather than them going outside of Mount Vernon, they're coming here. That's right. So if you live in Mount Vernon, have a home, business, anything with plants and landscaping, don't go to Home Depot, come to Trusco. That's what I can say that. And if yeah. anybody mad I said that, too bad. Don't go to Home Depot, <laughs> come to Trusco. That's what I like to say. And we try to give advice too to the homeowners. Yeah, yeah. We yeah. try to guide them in the right direction, like I was speaking to you last week about flowers. Yes. The rule of thumb is after Mother's Day, because just like we got snow the other night, or we still get frost advisory at night. And the flowers are gone. The flowers are gone. So if you notice, the other uh, retail chain stores like Home Depot will start pushing the flowers on you. But once it hits that frost, they're gone. They're, gone. they're not getting them back. So we're gonna take a tour of some of the other bays in a little while. Um, but until we do that, tell me, what is your future for Trusco? The future for Trusco is growth. Uh, we have potential. I have a lot of, I'm building up a lot of clientele. Uh, believe it or not, we're getting a lot of contractors that are happy we're here. Mm -hmm. And they're asking me for more product. Mm -hmm. So I have a problem, which is a good problem, space. So we're hoping with the hard work that we put in, and I put in every day, we will continue to grow. And I, my idea of this area here is to create a destination place where pretty much anyone from the county can come down to us for maybe even specialty stuff. Because down county, there's not much. Yeah. Everyone seems to always go up county. So I want to try to offer something that isn't offered down here. I think it could be done. I think it could be done. I mean, uh, you've been here 10 years, like you said. Uh, I'm sure you, you got about one, two, three, four, five different bays. 
Um, I know the sixth one you're looking for. Hopefully you can get that bait done soon, but um, I think so. I, I, I'm impressed. The first time I came here, I didn't know all this development. You see, maybe not in my camera shoot, but you see the greenhouse over there. Um, you know, it, it's, it gives a... So welcome back. We're still here with Frank from Trusco. And now we're in what we call the nursery, right? The nursery area, yeah. All right, cool. So explain to me some of the different flowers that you have. It's a very beautiful nursery. I see you got a lot of different things. Um, like explain this one. This one looks like more of a tree that would go on the curb. Yeah, street trees. Street trees? Yeah, these are popular Bradford pears. People uh, in municipalities use them as street trees. Uh, you get the beautiful white flower in the spring and then it leaves out. We actually have them around our property where we maintain them. We also have different varieties of plants um, for different purposes. Uh, skip laurels, auto lucans, we have your famous arborvitaes. Uh, we have some dogwood trees, plum trees, all different types of plant material that'll help your landscape beautify your home, add value to the property. Value to the property, that's all you Mount Vernon homeowners that want to sell your home and need, to, need it to look pretty so you can stage it and sell it for a good value, you come see Frank for that, right? Well, usually, uh, isn't it like rule of thumb, uh, the first impression you get is like the first 20% first impression, that's it. is the front of the house. That's it, front of the house. So if your front of your house look crazy, I'm not coming, and I'm definitely not going to tell nobody to go there and, uh, and buy it. So come see Frank so he can hook up your house. Make sure I get my little percentage in the deal somewhere <laughs> in there because I told you to see Frank. But no, for real, though, um, beautify. But even so, you should want the front of your house to look beautiful regardless. Yeah, regardless. Selling it or not selling it, the front of your house, it helps the community. It helps the tax base. It just helps everything when the community looks good. So Frank is a guy that, that makes the community look good. So um, let's follow. You want to go take a look at let's, some let's mulches? Let's take a look at some mulches. Okay. Um, let's walk in. So you like what you do. So as they film this. So, yeah, so I do. I, 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 I do. This. this is what you do. Yeah, I enjoy it. I enjoy helping people. Yeah. I the like. Passion for gardening and making Yeah, I, I like it. This is what I've been around my whole life. So when you and pass a house that looks good, you can appreciate it. I can tell right away a yeah. house that's been designed properly or not. I can tell a new landscape or not. I can tell a house that has new stucco to it or not. Uh, a lot of different things. Retaining walls in the masonry division that we have across the street. Uh, you know, we're selling our block and then we sell our retaining walls, which are very popular. Okay. These are all things that add to the landscape of the house. The hardscape and the softscape go together. What about businesses? Um, landscape in front of business. Is homeowners or do business owners pay as much attention as homeowners should? Is it even or you think homeowners have a higher responsibility? Well, the homeowner is the homeowner, so they have to take the initial responsibility. Yeah. And then from there, they hire their contractor or their designer and they relay the type of look they're trying to achieve. And then from there, you implement it. You create a design and a layout. And that's what, you know, I try to help out as well to my customers. But people who have businesses in the community should also have the same kind Absolutely. of- Absolutely, curb appeal. Curb appeal. It's all curb about appeal. curb appeal. Very it's important. how you present curb, yourself. Curb appeal. Presentation, even the commercial properties in Mount Vernon, different businesses, you know, things should be done correctly. Their driveways black topped, have a little bit of landscaping in front of their property, add some flowers. It softens it up. Yeah. Make it inviting, welcoming. Inviting, welcoming, add a little color. Yeah. Changes your mood. It changes your mood, you know what I'm saying? It changes. We open up at 7 a.m., but usually I'm here at 5.30 in the morning, just so making sure everything. the morning when all your trucks come in? Drop Pretty much the mornings till about 9 o'clock. Then it peters down, because they're all out working. They're all out working, yeah. And then they come in maybe around 1 o'clock, again 2 o'clock finishing up their day or getting their stuff for tomorrow. So follow us in this bay. And as we saw, I was actually earlier about the different types of mulch. So now I see red, I see black, and then I see a... Right, we have a red, we have a black, and then where the big loader is, we have topsoil as well. Topsoil. 
Uh, because so that's when you topsoil, we're using for when we're lawns, lawns planting, grass, yeah, stuff like that. Yeah. Then we have sweet peat, which is your organic mulch. Then we have your brown, natural color mulch, and then we branch into the masonry division, where when you're putting down your pavers, uh, whether it be Cambridge or Liberty Stone or Unilock, you have to put your concrete sand as a base. Some use stone dust. And then we go to your different size gravels, your sand, and some of your recycled items here. And actually under this top, which, which we really didn't talk about, is Old Man Winter. This is where we right, store our salt. We don't want to talk about salt. nothing with winter right now. I know, but I just wanted to bring <laughs> that back in again. Right this now. is where we carry salt as well, so So we next don't have season, to you know where to go. Salt. We'll do another show for that. Yeah, we don't want to talk exactly. About we'll leave that alone. Right the only salt I want is one on a margarita around the top. That's the only one I'm thinking about. <laughs> That's right the only now. one for That's right now. That's the only one for right now. Right. So, so now, let me ask you about the mulch. Is it based on homeowner's preference, but is black better for homes, red better for business, or just straight your It's preference? again preference. We sell it bulk and we do also sell it in bags for the homeowner that doesn't need the quantity that a contractor might need. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So we try to serve both purposes. It um, does it last year to year or every year you need new mulch? It does last, but like anything else, it fades. It's dyed. Yeah. So you might need a little bit just to spruce it up. Does it shrink or like, cause I- It doesn't know. shrink, but remember it's wood. So it's just so like- So it, it, it decomposes okay, okay, after okay. a while, okay, yes. Okay, okay. Cause uh, last year when we did our landscaping and then I'm outside this year, I realized that some, it looks like it's not as much as, as, it, as it was, it, yeah, it, it, it's a wood product. Yeah, yeah. So it looks it, very pretty when we lay, lay it down. When oh. you lay it down, it's good, and sometimes you could pass a rake over it and freshen it and up. And freshen it up, oh, that's a secret. It's a little secret, okay, yeah, freshen it okay, up. Okay, 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 yeah. now I know. I have to tell my wife and mother-in-law, I know the secret to keep her uh, yeah, a little secret. looking fresh. Yeah. I'm not gonna rake it, but I know to tell her who to rake it. And you don't, need as much you don't need as much as you do that. You don't need as much you do that. Yep, absolutely, yeah. So, so what, what is, is, before we get out of here, um, Summertime, give me a few tips for our residents um, that's watching this that how can they keep their home beautified um, and keep their property beautified. So what tip will you have? Well, the number one thing is maintenance. As you know, inside, outside, everything needs painting, fixing. It's, it's always a ongoing event. Um, rule of thumb, don't plant your flowers till Mother's Day. That'll we save you that. some money. Mm -hmm. Um, maintenance, fertilizing, and just general upkeep. What about the hot summer days? What if we get a stretch of 90, 100 degrees heat? How do we maintain our lawns under the heat? Well, then you have to adjust your watering times. You, instead of, most people have sprinkler systems, some might not. You're gonna have to water more than once a day because of the extreme conditions. You know, so some plants are sensitive water. more than others, but, and you could tell because they'll be wel wilting. Turn green, oh yeah, turn they'll, they'll, they'll be fading over. The grass too, I'm, and I'm grass, grass. believe it or not, is a little more resilient. But your general flowers that can't take full sun, they'll need a little bit more attention. And when we buy our flowers, we should ask yeah. these questions. So yeah, know. yeah, and I could try and help out with that. All right. Wait, let me show you some of the uh, mason and the animals we have. Uh, we have some displays out here. Okay. Especially for the homeowner, like say your wife, yeah. if you want to put a retainer wall at your house. To keep me out the house or to keep well, me in the house? Well, it could be to keep you out the okay, house. Okay. No, they're all the same material, they just offer different colors. Right. And we show how they basically stack one on top of each other and they gradually set back very minimal to hold back gravity. And these are very, very good walls. And we're very happy with them. And we just did them out here so that. People in Mount Vernon, contractors could take their customer here. And they could see, and they could the see it and touch it and feel it as opposed to a picture. Is the color, do you have to get a commission from the community to use a certain color or are you as a homeowner no. get to pick your own color? Color is your preference. All right. Depending on your situation, you might need an architect uh, to put in a, a drawing for you. Again, depending on the application. But or the city are, you live in. You know, the city you live in, but these are fairly easy to construct and they're very durable walls. And as you can tell, we have them going all the way down the block uh, with different colors offered. So retaining walls, landscaping, flowers, mulch, 
I mean, pretty much for all your landscape and mason. You, you, you got it all right there. Well, we're and trying. The knowledge to help you. Well, yeah, that I do say yeah, we that, do that, have that the knowledge. to help you out, which is important. So that's why I'm saying we want to create a destination where people can get multiple services in one. So this is this is a great place, and you also deliver. I see you got trucks, so yeah. people don't have to come here. You will also we also the provide the delivery as well, yeah. which is the added added bonus. Well, with masonry and plant material, let's face it, it's heavy stuff. It can be, so I can't expect someone to. So you deliver to home and also business and stuff. Oh like yes. That. So yeah. wherever the job is, pretty wherever much. the job. Is. So. Please support our business community. This is a great business in a great, great environment. Um, industrial, but yet home around here. So not only do Frank help the community, but he also invests in the community. You have a home um, that he has on his block. So it's bigger than about just making money. It's about building a strong community. And you have done a great job at that, I may say. Thank this you. definitely look, this, this block right here definitely looks it's like a movie scene block, right? Right? We need to shoot a movie or coming down this block or something like that, right? So, you heard it from my guy, Frank, from Frank Trusco. I thank you for your time. I thank you. Hey, listen, you know, you're one of the good people in Mount Vernon. I wish you much luck. If you are going to do anything for your home this year, please give them the address once again. 47 Grove Street. 47 Grove Street. Give them the website. TruscoBuildingSupply.com. Phone number? 914-668. One, two, seven, four. That's right. So once again, Dwayne Brown, Chambers TV. Look out for more additions. Look out for more stuff. We're trying to create this TV show to show that Mount Vernon has many great business people and we all need to support one another. Shop locally, support your chambers. Check out our website, Mount Vernon Chamber of Commerce. That's mvccny.com. Once again, mvcc ny.com is going to be like right here so when you're watching this it'll be right here trust me on that so once again thank you for spending time with me i hope you learned something i hope all your lawns your property look beautiful and you know you invite me over and it doesn't look good i'm gonna let you know you need to go see frank so don't do it thank you mount vernon thank you chamber of commerce and check us out for our and next you can episode. look us up on facebook Facebook, Frank. Facebook, Trusco. Let's go out of here, man. I'm about to go garden. Let's go. Bye. Out of here, man. See you later. See you later.